If you are looking forward to the new Redmi series, the Redmi 8, the Redmi Note 8, or the Redmi Note 8 Pro, we now know when they're going to be released. Redmi actually teased another new product that we assume will be released on the same day as those products, a Redmi TV. So Xiaomi have been in the TV game for a little while now, and it only makes sense that Redmi are gonna be starting TV production too. Expect those TVs to be much in the same way as the Xiaomi and Redmi brands. So Xiaomi doing something first, maybe a little bit more expensive, and then Redmi coming to the game and giving us more or less the same products, but hopefully for cheaper prices. So the TV that they just teased is 70 inches. That is absolutely massive but expect a decent price on that one, so probably an LCD display, but they're saying that this is a smart TV too. This therefore should go head to head with the Honor Vision smart TV that was released recently, but will probably be cheaper than that. So that's the 28th of August, so that means we should get some new phones on that day too. They usually release a few products in one go, so we're looking at the Note 8 series on the 28th of August. There's been a ton of rumors flying around about all of these phones, a possible Redmi 8, a possible Redmi 8A, then possible Note devices. It's still really unclear which specs go with which device, but we've seen the Note 8 be leaked and also this red phone, which was initially thought to be maybe the Note 8, but apparently now, is more likely a Redmi 8 phone. It looks like the Realme 5 Pro specs have just been leaked. Although we can't be 100% sure, it looks pretty much like the phone is getting a water drop notch. And a Snapdragon 712 processor, which makes complete sense. Mid-range phone, it's a good chip. It's a little upgrade on the Snapdragon 710. Not as expensive as the Snapdragon 730, so I hope for a really good price on that one. And we know that all of the phones in the Realme range that will be coming out, the Realme 5, the Realme 5 Pro, we'll be getting quad cameras too. And then we have that 64 megapixel camera phone from Realme that will come a little bit down the line. Interestingly, the specs on this one anyway, still have Color OS, which is actually Oppo's operating system based on Android, but Realme are apparently developing their own operating system too, but obviously it's not ready for this one, judging by this leak anyway. Now the Oppo Reno 2 series is launching on the 28th of August, so that's the same time as the Redmi launch. The Oppo Reno Series 2 is launching in India, and the Redmi series I would suggest being launched in China, but they're both being launched on the same day, so we're gonna get a lot of new products on the 28th of August. And Oppo are also releasing something called Oppo Enco, which are wireless noise cancelling earphones. That makes sense because all of these manufacturers are taking away the headphone jack. And if you take away the headphone jack, you need to offer some sort of solution to actually listen to music through your phone. And some big news, if you're interested in Huawei devices, the Mate 30 series will be being launched in September. And Huawei just told us that on the 6th of September, there's going to be a product launch. So I don't think this is the Mate 30 series. This should be Huawei's launch of their brand new flagship processor, the Kirin 990. So expect a much quicker, more efficient seven nanometer process chip from Huawei. The 980 was also a seven nanometer chip, but this is manufactured using a different process. I'm really excited about the Kirin 990 and a week or so later we should have the launch of the Mate 30 series using that new chipset. And then some good news, if you own a Xiaomi, an Oppo, or a Vivo phone, they've just made transferring files between those three brands of phone much easier. So this was posted separately by all three brands today. They've come up with a system where you can transfer files or videos, that sort of thing, between phones of different brands. You don't have to have a secondary app, it's gonna be native, to those brands. It's called Mobile Direct Fast Exchange, and it works a little bit like AirDrop, if you know that from the iPhone. It works using Bluetooth, but the great thing is it is completely seamless between them. You can transfer files or data up to 20 megabits a second. I really like it when manufacturers come together and do something that makes our lives easier. I just wish you could do that between iOS and Android 
I know Huawei have their own system too, but that's only between Huawei devices. It's also unclear whether Redmi are gonna be taking part on this or whether it's just Xiaomi phones. Anyway, anything that can make our lives easier, so many people have these three brands of phones, sending data from one person to another, just got easier if you have one of those phones. Anyway, that's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.